Hey everybody, it's Valen from Mischief of Mice, here with another episode from Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. Today, we're going to be covering, I believe, part 4, The Jungle Provides. And, uh, from the map, started out on here at Maguma's Beach. I moved up to the uh, Itzel village up here, and uh, going to be working our way over to Skyclaw Peaks. Uh, or at least near it, between Skyclaw and Wyvern Cliffs. So, let's get on to it and see what we can do on Guild Wars 2. Here we are at the rally point, and let's see if we can actually get into this. Yes. I've actually already tried this once, and uh, I think that uh, it ended up glitching. So boss, sorry, Commander, did you learn anything from the other survivors? The pack soldiers all talk about prisoners being taken deeper into the jungle. Then we need to go deeper into the jungle. I'm ready. Hold on. We don't know this region, but there are potentially friendly Hylek nearby, and we could use their help. For what? We can handle anything this jungle throws at us. We know where to look. Let's start looking. Not without better intel. We're in Modromoth's territory, and I won't let us get ambushed like the fleet was. But we're not... <sighs> okay, fine. Let's talk to these Hylic of yours. Commander, look! Over there! Evely, the Bangles are back! Archers, arrows ready! Mordrum Guard, let's show these new Hylic which side we're on. Move out! These Hylic aren't like any other. Beautiful colors, though. They won't be so nice. We won't let that happen. Hit them hard, people! Might as well focus these guys down. So anyway, as I was saying, I've actually already started trying this mission once. Not sure how I might edit this thing. Might end up putting a little bit of that in here. But, um, apparently there was a little glitch where, even though I defeated the, um, the waves of Mordrum Guard to, uh, attack, it ended up uh, just not allowing me to progress anyway. So I'll explain more once we get closer to that point. Oh. His life's not looking so good, and neither am I now that I just landed on that giant <laughs> red beam of death there. <laughs> Glad you strangers showed up. I am Ibli of the Itzel Hylek. Welcome, and thank you. I'm glad we could help. We've also lost people to the Mordrum, and we'd like your assistance in getting them back. Of course. We have a common enemy. We need to warn our village. But come with us and meet Arcana, the chieftain. We can't help you if we are not safe, but if you help us secure the village, I'm sure the Kana will offer her support. Excellent. Let me speak with my people, and then we'll be honored to meet your chieftain. All right, and this is where Brom tells me he wants to charge forward. <laughs> Air and the others are in danger. I'm not going to waste time making introductions. I volunteer to scout ahead. Bing. Bad idea. <laughs> we can't risk getting separated. I also prefer to work alone, but we don't always get what we want. I'll go with Airson. We'll pick up the trail while the rest of you make contact with these itch. Agreed. Ridlock and Bram, see what you can see, and don't go too far without us. The rest of you. With me. In other words, let's split up and search for clues. <laughs> Count us in, Ibli. Lead the way to your village, and we'll help however we can. <laughs> so now we just follow Ibli to the Itzel village. But we need to help. I bet my whiskers on that, Kaz. For the Itzel, I mean. I'm not so sure about the big Big guy is Tislak of the Newhawk. Ibli and I are a team. Our people are allies. And I have excellent healing. Oh, uh, hi, Tislak. Nice work with the hammer back there. You can come up here, rocks. You don't have to stay way back there. Our scouts have returned. Inform the Kana right away. The plant ghouls keep coming. Stronger each time. We have to alert the village. 
But then we send someone back to tend to the fallen. <laughs> because he didn't want to sit there and res them, I guess. I don't know. Did you see them? Mordrem are massing in huge numbers just outside the village. Excellent. Better for us to kill them. <laughs> Commander, as we go deeper into Mortremoth's territory, I trust you'll make it clear which side I'm on. I don't want the Itzel or anyone else mistaking me for a Mordrem guard or a packed turncoat. <laughs> it would be cruel irony for me to die wrongly accused. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on you, on all Silvari. But don't worry, I'll vouch for you. Provided that you end up, uh, not backstabbing anybody. Let's go, boys. Nice of you to wait for me. Well, Kanach was uh, speaking his mind. Getting the back up into this canopy. Of course, I believe this was the same Itzel village I started from, funny enough. It's getting worse, Mother. Kana. The Mordrum Guard are preparing for a major attack. At least we have some warning this time. Well done. Wait, your party is too small. Where are the rest of your scouts? Fallen. Taken. And if not for these new arrivals, we would be too. The jungle provides. Thank you, strangers. Are you also here to help us protect our village? Of we course. Are. The Mordrum are a threat to us too. We're here to stop them. Your people and mine can help each other. I say we strike first and hit the Mordrum as they muster. They won't expect us to attack them. Too risky. Our people here need protection. We should focus on improving the village's defenses. What say you, strangers? Amayale sent you to us. I would appreciate your counsel. Of course. But let's first talk to you. We can cut down the Mordrum guard before they ever reach the village. Let's first talk to uh, my own crew and see what they have to say. I say we defend the village. No matter how many Mordrum come, these tight spaces will work in our favor. Unless you could fall off of uh, high heights like I can uh, by simply rolling at the wrong time. Uh, the rest of the everything won't, so I disagree with you, Rox. Though usually I do tend to agree with you. Let's head out. If we wipe out the attacking force, the village won't need defenses. Or at least for a time. Hey, come on. I'm trying to talk to Casimir here. There are too many innocents here. We should dig in and help them defend themselves. Normally, that would be the plan I would go with. But, I don't know. The bad guy to good guy ratio is all wrong. I say we balance the equation by taking out the Mordrum in the jungle. I think you have a point, Timey. Let's go with Tislak here. Let's take the fight to him. The newcomers agree with me. We should attack. Very well. Strangers, if this works, I promise that in turn our scouts will help you find your friends. Good luck. With respect, Kappa. If you'd seen our new friends fight, you'd know we don't need luck. <laughs> I like Tislak. Though his overconfidence could be his weakness. One could say the faith in my friends oh, is mine. <laughs> are they as much trouble elsewhere as they are here? Yes, they're new. And compared to the rest of Mordremoth's slaves, they're the least mindless and the most dangerous. That is troubling. But the jungle provides, and until now we've been on our own. I'm glad you're here. I don't know if your jungle brought us here, but we're definitely going to help with your Mordrum problem. One down, several more to go. Got this one. Switch my pet. And for those that uh, may have noticed uh, on the previous episode, as well as this one, oh, let's get rid of this jungle block. Uh, we have 
new pets, or at least I do. Uh, I just switched them out. Uh, I figured uh, flying pets was more appropriate when I'm going to be doing a lot of gliding. So, therefore, I was going for that. Boy, it's just like you are not helping right now. You're just kind of standing there. What are you doing? <laughs> Thanks for the help, buddy. Do I need to be behind you or something? Anyway, uh, I thought that would be a bit more appropriate. Plus, uh, I was able to earn a bit more hero points just uh, walking around the map and unlocked a couple more skills as you see down on my utility bar. Uh, I currently have one that pulses uh, a poison damage in uh, an area and then I have another one that... Uh, Those plant people have done a lot of damage and they mean to do more. We have to stop them here. The other one does a 10% uh, damage increase to uh, friendlies nearby for 6 seconds. Nice. Let's get him. Oof. Oh, not a good spot to fall down in. Healing up a bit. Uh, I'm failing with the button pushing. Right here. Let's pop uh, Avatar and try and heal back up a bit, if possible. And just do a bunch of those. Heal our allies while we're at it. That would be all right. Not too bad. I had used up my healing ability, so I switched to my avatar there and was able to heal myself and our allies nearby. Plus buying me a little time and not having to worry about being knocked down. Because I was pressing a lot of the wrong buttons. <laughs> Alright. Taking the Mordrum Camp area. Come on, people. Get in... In the circle. There we go. We can't let the Mordrum Guard take back this territory. Someone needs to hold the ground we've cleared. I understand. I'll send word to the Itzel Scouts. They'll keep what we claim. Well, that was interesting. I did not notice that before. He burped and Itzel Scouts appeared. That's excellent. Is that some kind of racial ability or is it just something you could do? All right, folks, let's move in and take out this next group, or wait, what are you doing? Okay. Ah, uh, so last time I charged in, I tried taking this uh, area. Ooh. It really takes the damage on this stuff really fast. Glass cannon builds tend to be a bit more risky. But uh, I guess I was supposed to buy him time to smash things. Thoughts. I need you to take this more seriously. The last thing we need is another Silvari surprise. Don't worry about it. The harder Mortal tests, the harder I resist. Silvari surprise. <laughs> All right, so I'm supposed to defend him, but at the same time take the Mortem Camp Center area. So let's try taking this. I guess I probably should have tried taking it over uh, while we were fighting, but... Alright, follow Tislak. Last time, this is where he glitched out. He just stood here and was following me around while we were constantly stuck in a permanent battle uh, of fighting that nothing. should teach the Mordrum. Oh, oh, look there, near that strange blister. It's one of our fallen scouts. They were dragged here, just like the pack soldiers. But what's happening to them? Mordrum take a body from the battlefield and turn it into many monsters. So we always burn our dead immediately. Mordromoth is using them for something. I say we keep our dead out of its clutches. Destroy those blisters now! Okie dokie then. I 
everybody else is just going to stand there and I, I'm going to destroy the blister by myself. So we'll take that. I just commanded myself to destroy the blister. Oh! Hello. Giant evil flam- Oh, you think? And you can see I'm actually trying to use my number 4 skill a little more often now that I'm uh, getting a bit more into this. Because these guys are constantly chasing me around. And they're also constantly uh, grouping up. Alright, anybody going to join me in this? No? I'm targeting it. <laughs> Maybe a little something that they could use uh, to help out would be once you target something, the group decides to join in. But that thing does not like us doing that. I see a mender. Let's target. If I can get off of this. He's going to keep everything alive longer. Unless we take him out. Oof! Now, double Close here. I'll bring my pet back to me and summon him to immediately attack me. That way I don't have to wait for the pet to retreat from whatever enemy he's currently attacking. Oh yeah, that was close. And that gives me the opportunity to uh, counterattack quickly. It's like some twisted mockery of the grove. I'll hold this area. Leave it to me. You keep going. All right then. Keep going, we will. Let's go, folks. Okay. Apparently, I am not getting reinforcements unless I back way up for everybody to start helping. And there goes my pet, because he was the only target there. <laughs> I'm going to pop my number 8 ability, which boosts everybody's uh, damage by 10%. Or 10 er, 6 seconds. can't summon my pet back to me right now, which really, really hinders me a lot, actually. But, I can still have him attack. Get a little heal for everybody, just a little one. Ooh. Looks like one of them came in from behind. Alright, now to continue. Come here. Our next target. Toss in an extra bonus damage. Speed up killing this blighting pile, since nobody else really wants to. There we go. Hello. back up. Well, you really have to be mobile. Uh, I was uh, paying attention to some other videos that I've seen and heard of on uh, 
Heart of Thorns because I wanted some other people's input on it. And uh, they are absolutely right when they say that you, uh, you have to watch what you're doing in here. Because uh, there is a lot less room for error in uh, as you get further in. My endurance was empty or else I'd have rolled on that. Veteran guard. Alright, pet number two. <laughs> Get him. Alright, there we go. And of course, the mender that I was trying to fight at the very beginning of the battle. I was having difficulty in actually uh, trying to select by just aiming at him. Alright. Oof. Next group down. Here we go. Give a quick little heal. The jungle provides. The village is safe from Mordrum Guard for now. I just wish we knew more about those blister growths. All right. Well then, I guess we uh, group back up with the rest. Looks like Tislax over here waiting for us. <laughs> Convenient of him to tell us to just run ahead. One more thing for my list of accomplishments. Well done. Kanamiatli sent us to support you, but it doesn't look like you need any help. We do not. The Mordrum Guard didn't expect us to attack them, let alone beat them. Kanamiatli extends our gratitude to your new friends. She asks you to provide the guidance they seek. I'm ready. Just as the jungle provided the strangers to us, she now provides us to them. Thank you both. Two of my people went on ahead. We need to find them and press on as quickly as possible. And there we go. Another part completed in the quest through Guild Wars 2 Heart of Thorns. Let's see, what do we get? Mastery, airship oil, bladed headgear box, five bags of verdant brink supplies. What's next? Excellent. And there we go, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I look forward to continuing doing probably about maybe two episodes a week, as I uh, have been so far. And uh, if you do, please feel free to uh, let me know about it. Till next time. See ya.